Good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Salabu Naga. I am a singer-songwriter, a music educator, and a music entrepreneur from the northeastern region of India in a small state called Nagaland. Today, when we talk about northeast, we are associated with sports and music. And uh, when we talk about music, Nagaland is exceptionally high on that list. Every household will have a guitar player, a piano player, or a singer. Every soul can sing in tune and melody. We uh, give credit to our forefathers for always incorporating music in our rituals, in our tradition, in our culture, our lifestyle. You know, Agriculture is our primary source of living. So we have songs from the cutting of the jungle, till you know, the sowing of the seed. We have songs for the harvest. We are also a warrior community, head-hunting community. You know? So uh, we have war songs, we have battle songs, we have victory songs. You know? We also have lullabies, you know? we have love songs, uh, wedding songs, funeral songs, you name it. Every event, every occasion, every celebration, we have a song, we have music attached to it. And singing it was not only a way of expressing emotion, but it was a way of telling stories and uh, passing on oral traditions. With the invasion of the West and embracing uh, Christianity in the late 19th and 20th centuries, we were introduced to Western music in the form of uh, worship songs through the churches and through Western missionaries. Thus begin the revival of music in Nagaland and most part of northeast of India. We love music and music was always considered so big, but music was never considered <coughs> a career option. It was always a mere hobby or pastime activity, you know, Probably because no one before us took music seriously or made it a full-time career or made it big in music. Today, you know, we are, we are the first generation of musicians from our part of the state who took up music as a full-time you know, career. Let me share my short story to you. I was five years old when I started singing. By the age of 11, I was already writing my own songs. I always want to be a musician when I grow up. I was so crazy, you know. I wrote my Grammy acceptance speech when I was like 10, 11 years. I was that crazy guy. But at the end of the day, the family, the society will be like, oh, you sing good, you play good, but study hard, you know, study hard. And born and raised in Dimapur, a small town, you know, hardly one lakh population then or less than that, with no private sectors, government job was the only option, or every parent will expect their children to study medicine, engineering, or sit for civil service exams, you know. And also, in India, you know, being an artist, independent artist in India who sing English songs and local dialect, we had lesser scope compared to film music, you know. In India, if you want to be successful, we have to sing something like, Hire Moti! You know, you have to sing like, Natu, 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 Ora Natu, right? You have to sing something, Flea music to be successful in India. For independent artists, it was hard. So just to be acceptable in the eyes of the society, I did my master's from Delhi University, did my post-graduation in tourism management from IITTM Delhi, and I went back home. I started working. Things look so cool. Drivers, car, good salary. But at the end of the day, I come back home and I ask myself, is this what I really want to do all my life? I realized that our period on this earth is roughly 70, 80 years, you know. We, after studies, we start working 23 to 25, we start working, and by the age of 65, you retire and you live for a few more years and you will die, you know. So what we see is the maximum amount of time you're investing is on your job. So if I don't do something I love doing, I don't want to regret. I, di I didn't want to, you know, uh, regret with my decision later in life. So one night I prayed to God and said, Lord, I'm giving you my dream. I want to follow my dreams. I don't care what the world say. I believed in my capabilities and I believe in my talent. So I quit my job. 
the whole society, the whole uncle, aunties, oh, pagaletu, you know, what are you going to do with this? With music, there's no career. But finally, with no financial support, no motivation, but with big dreams, I began to pursue my passion, my dream. I remember in the early days, you know, we used to go to my friend's bedroom to record songs. And uh, he had a small, uh, old computer, PC, and small, you know, two audio interface. We used to record there. And to record a uh, voice, you need to go to your, you know, soundproof room, professional studio, but we had no money. So I used to go inside his Godrej Almira, you know, and cover it up with blankets in summer, right? And we can't even switch on the fan because I don't want that sound krung, krung in my song, right? So we used to struggle like that. After struggling for 20, three, four years, 2010, when internet and social media was not as popular and trending as of now, I released my first album. In three days, album sold out with the help of, I mean, of social, uh, local media and uh, word of mouth. That was the first time my name came up in the local papers. Some government departments saw my name and <clears throat> they invited me to go and compete for a national contest where the winner gets to represent India to Montenegro, Europe. I went there, I won the competition. And that gave me a breakthrough to write a song for <clears throat> international short film festival theme song that was happening in India then. Uh, the theme for that festival was Painted Dreams. So I wrote a song called Painted Dreams. Next, our song was featured on VH1 and all leading music channels back in 2011. 2011, there weren't much Indian bands who used to come on VH1, you know. There were big bands like Industreed, uh, Parikrama, Pentagram, Avail, Bandish Project. So to get featured along with these big names was like, wow, such a big deal for a small guy, you know. After a few weeks, we were overwhelmed to know that our song was there an international top 10 chart, along with Maroon 5, Lady Gaga, Jay-Z, you know. These people we look up to, and our name is there, Alobo Naga and the band, and I'm like, wow, you know. Fast forward, we were nominated for MTV European Music Award, and we won Best Indian Act at MTV EMA 2012. And this was the beginning of my music career, and also the revival in the mindset of people back home. When I say home, not only Nagaland, but the musician from entire Northeast started believing that if this guy can do it, we can also do it. Today, I am humbled to be one of the recipients of the Governor's Award for my contribution to music. And also, I have won numerous music awards in India, international. The latest being this month, I won the best rock artist at Radio City Freedom Awards. You know, the, one of the biggest independent music awards, I won the best rock artist. I've done thousands of shows across the world. I was also one of the ambassadors for Swatch Bharat Abhiyan, you know, by, uh, you know, uh, selected by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I was invited to... Uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan to meet the president, I met the vice president, you know. Today I'm not here to boast, I'm not here to talk about my achievement. I'm here to encourage you, I'm here to tell you that if a small boy from Dimapur can dream big and be where he is today, then everyone can. You can dream big. All you need to do is put God first, believe in yourself, and work smart. What do I mean by work smart? Let me share a few things, what I learned from my life. Everyone will tell you, work hard, work hard, work hard. Yes, it's so important to work hard, but you need to work smart in this generation. You need to know what to do. You need to know where to invest. When you're beginning your career, don't expect people to come and push you. Don't expect people to come and help you, you know. When you're beginning, you're nobody. You have to be your own promoter. You have to create your own platform. You have to be humble enough to go and seek, ask, re request, you know, for platforms and opportunities. <coughs> you need to learn. You need to upgrade yourself. I believe that the more you learn, the less you feel you know. 
So if you think that I know everything, that's the day, that's the day you will stop learning. So upgrade yourself, study the market, see what is trending. You know, good thing is someone already did the homework for us. So we can, you know, learn from them. You have to compete with yourself. You have to raise the bar higher every day for yourself. What can I do to get better? What can I do to be better than last year? If you compete with others, yes, it's healthy, no doubt, but sometimes so stressful. When you compete with yourself, you challenge yourself more. Yes, learn from others, no doubt. You have to learn from others, take inspiration, but be original always. You know, being an artist from India, you know, I, I, I sing Western music. So if I say Western music, we are copying the West. We are trying to imitate the West. So whatever I composed, someone already did it already. So this, you know, there's nothing new. So what I need to do is I take the West idea, but the uniqueness of me is my identity, my culture, you know. Look at India, the diversity of India. Today, when I go represent India, suppose I go to, uh, Africa example, the announcer will be like, ladies and gentlemen, next we have a band from India and they'll expect someone else. And I go and I talk about the diverse of India, diversity of India, you know, the language. So my uniqueness and my identity is my culture, my identity. So what I do is uh, in 2018, I won best English song at Hungama Music Award Artist Award for this song. So example. There's a folk song called Walla Walla Na Lili Walla. Okay, this is Naga folk song. Walla Walla Na Lili Walla. Right? If I sing this, it's gonna be so boring, right? So to, to get the younger generation, I can do like Walla Walla Na Lili Walla. Walla Walla Na Lili Walla. Walla Walla Na. I can do it my style. Or maybe uh, a folk song from Nagaland. So it goes something like this. So he mancho, so no diole, do we have he, he shall never have. So he mancho, so no diole. Yeah. So he and every day you so hear something wrong. wrong. There's full of anguish, pain, no hope to move on. So he you hear the children so crying out to you. Reach out with love and give them hope. Yeah. So I, I put, you know. So yes. So I, I, I try to put like my identity, right, and put Western music. So it's original, right? I am copying from the West, but it's original now. So what I want to tell you is, you have to be innovative. You have to be creative if you want to be successful in life. You have to think outside the box. In 2015, I was touring Hong Kong, and one morning I woke up and asked myself, what if I die today? What am I giving back to the society? Because I realized that only, there were only few of us who got the privilege to go outside, experience the first hand in music industry. So I thought, like, I need to go back and invest, or at least teach one experience about how to 
come up in this music industry. With the vision, I came back in 2015. I started my first music academy in 2016. Today, where I teach children and uh, along with 30 other musicians, you know, whenever I'm not touring, we have a uh, you know, foundation where we uh, sponsor talented artists from underprivileged you know, society or families, and we teach them. We also have artist management, and we try to train these people and then help them, give them platform. Music industry you know, in Nagaland is big today. When we started our career, people did not have any hope. But today, music is considered like any other career option in Nagaland. Every parent wants their children to go to music school. Every parent, you know, it's a cool factor for the children to learn how to play piano, violin, drums, guitar. Every locality will have at least one or two music schools. Even Nagaland Board of School Education, you know, has introduced music as a subject in high school and higher secondary curriculum. Our government, our <coughs> state will be the only government in the entire state. We have a music department called Music and uh, Task Force for Music and Art, initiated by our chief minister, Nipirio. Today, thousands of people are working outside teaching music in schools across India, Gulf countries, even playing for Bollywood stars, Bollywood playback singers. In fact, my friend was playing for one big Bollywood artist on Friday here at Mangalore. We are performing, you know, across the world, hotels, resorts, bar, you know, like me performing artists, you know, winning awards. We start, you know, from that point where people thought you can't do anything out of music, but today we are here. And on conclusion, I want to say that my journey is not over yet. Speaking here today at TechX was also one of my dreams, and I fulfill it. I want to end with a note from Philippines 4.13. It says, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my story. I am Alobonaga. Thank you.